Hey guys, Drifter here. Today I'm going to be reviewing, unboxing, and a little setup tutorial for the Logitech G Fits, which are going to be the first gaming earbuds that I've ever tried. They're not just for casual music listening, but these are special fancy products that are supposed to mold to the shape of your inner ear to provide you the best three-dimensional sound possible while you're gaming. So let's do a brief unboxing, and then we're going to jump straight into setup. Wah, 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 wah. Now would probably be a good time for me to tell you that this video is sponsored by Logitech G. They are one of my oldest and best sponsors. Uh, I'm not getting paid for it, but there is an affiliate link down there in the description that gives you a discount and me a kickback should you desire this product. Huh. Okay, so here are the earpieces. Wow, they look really medical and alien and kind of scary. I am a little bit intimidated by that. We have a orb or egg-like base. This is how you would charge them. And I think it can also connect through that to other devices. And finally, inside, yes, I've grown so many hands today. <laughs> oh, this is beautiful. I love this. All right. So inside the accessory pack, we have the standard charging cable, USB-C, but we have a USB regular to USB-C adapter and the Logitech G Lightspeed dongle, the same as the ones on all of the new headsets, uh, some of the controllers, this is what you would plug into your computer, or with this little guy, you can just plug it directly in your phone if you wanna do it this way instead of Bluetooth. So before you get started with the Logitech G Fits, I highly recommend you clean your ears. Gamers out there, I know you wear headsets all the time, I know the wax is bad. Thankfully, my partner's willing to do this for me with the endoscopy cam, but you can do this yourself at home. Oh my god, Brad. Wow, you really need to clean out your ears because that is disgusting. That's not that bad. That that's, is horrible. That's only like four out of ten bad. You haven't four even seen it Four out of ten bad? bad? I've yeah. watched ear cleaning videos on YouTube and this is like one of the top ten worst I've ever seen. The next step after cleaning your ears is the most fun one. We are going to be molding these guys to the shape of your inner ear. Of note, these are UV sensitive, temperature sensitive, and not supposed to be removed from the package before doing this molding step. I'm glad I read the instructions before doing this. So what I'm going to do is open these guys up. We're going to pair them and then we're going to go into the Logitech G app to mold them to my ears. So let's hope that I have the brains to do this right. So step one, and I'm going to try to do this in a way where I can see it, is that you have to put the headsets into, there we go. All righty. It's, it's hard to do. You have to put the headsets into the case. They'll magnetically click on. Uh, you can see that the lights are on, so there is battery. That means that we can mold it. Then the button on the upper left-hand side is the pairing button. So we're gonna hit that. Okay, I hit and held the button. They should be pairable now. I don't actually see them in my Bluetooth devices here on the phone, which is not good. Alrighty, come on. I know you're here somewhere. Come on. Ah, Logitech G Fits Gaming Earbuds. Let's go ahead and hit that. And they are finally paired, but that's not the end. We now need to go to the app. All right, so just a pro tip here, you actually don't use the Logitech G Hub app. Logitech G Fits has its own app that you're gonna use for this process. And I wish I would have known that about 15 minutes and 15 failed attempts ago. So let's go ahead and open up the Fits app, which is very similar to the Logitech G Hub app, which is probably why I got them confused. Welcome to your custom fit. Uh, I will not be sharing analytic data because I do not want to allow. And let's see if we can find our headsets or earbuds, I should say. I'm so used to saying headsets. Place your earbuds in the case and remove them. Okay, we have confirmed. Now let's hit let's go. Sorry, I'm not looking at the camera as much. I have to multitask. All right, let's go. Insert both earbuds into your ears. Gently turn them to find the position that maximizes the bass. Okay, so I suppose this is going to play music while I do this. And I don't actually know which ear these go into. I don't know which way these go. Do these go like... I assume that the, the G would be pointed down on both of them and be legible. So I'd assume it's left and right like this. Okay, I have audio at all. Uh, no, hold up. This isn't right. A little pro tip. You should definitely charge your earbuds before use. I kind of sort of forgot to do that, so we're going to be starting over again. 
Now that I have them charged and happily in the case, we are going to rebegin the setup on the Logitech GFITS app. So let's see what we have going on on the app. And next, let's get started. Did we pair? Hmm. Okay, it says connected. Excellent. It shows audio. I'm going to go on here and just check to make sure that we're looking good. 100% battery remaining. All righty. Uh, I'm actually going to do a random little test just to make sure. I don't know if it's going to. Let's hit let's go. Gently turn them into a position that maximizes the base. All right. All right, we're in business here. They're making a lot of noise. It's kind of playing like an EDM sort of techno song. All right, I've got them in. That's really good bass right there. So we are going to hit next. It says, place your fingertips on the earbuds while molding. So you have to hold them in. We're going to do that. And we're going to hit start molding. And hopefully my ears don't explode. I'm going to push them in pretty good. You don't need to put a lot of pressure on there, but you do need to apply some pressure. Oh, it's weird. It's getting warm. Very slightly warmer than usual. I'm going to try to hold this. Okay. Yep, even warmer now. Audio quality is still fantastic. For sure. Actually kind of excited more so instead of gaming to watch movies on these. I feel like movies would be the most fun. Especially something like Skinamarink or Nope that has like really complex sound design. Uh, getting noticeably warmer now, but not painful or discomforting. I think it's wrapping up the process. Got a very cool video to watch over here on the side while it does this. And it looks like we are done. All right. How do they feel? I'd say that they feel comfortable. I think they're good. Grab your earbuds and take a five minute evaluation. Okay. I think we're getting really good quality audio out of this. Yeah, that sounds very good. Okay, we're gonna take a little break to evaluate. All right, so I took a moment to test. It is doing pretty well. It says, take a selfie. Hold up, can I do that? Are we gonna, are we gonna do that? We're we gonna do like a sponsor thing. Let's see if I hit take a selfie, what it's gonna do. Okay, fine. Fine. <laughs> it looks so dumb. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I'll skip this step for now. All right, almost done. Plug the dongle into your PC and test the light speed audio connection by triple tapping on either earbud. Okay. Let's test out the microphone on the Logitech G Fits. As you can see, I'm here on my desktop. We just have Audacity going with the standard chat mic, but let's stop that. And let's swap that to the GFITS microphone, if I can find it here. Da, 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 da. Now, this audio is being recorded off of the earbuds themselves. So I actually don't know how it's going to sound, but I wanted to say the quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. And now I'm going to play it back, and I guess we will <sighs> hear what it sounds like. All right. Well, it certainly doesn't sound like a fancy condenser mic, but I don't think any of you expected the earbuds to sound like a $300 microphone. So I think that's perfectly serviceable and actually pretty good audio quality for literally being teeny tiny little earbuds. It's now a few days later and I've had time to test the Logitech G Fits here on movies, video games, and music. And I wanted to offer you my opinion about these guys, mostly in terms of audio quality, in terms of form factor and stuff. I really like the carrying case. It's small, it's simple, it's light, it charges them. Uh, of course, the form factor of the ear, you know, custom molding thing was just beautiful. I can just take one of these guys out and slide it right in my ear with no problems. Drowns out about 80% of the outside noise, but not all of it. And I think the audio quality is overall fantastic, but it is an earbud. I'm gonna talk about that in a moment compared to headsets. These are the most comfortable and highest quality earbuds that I have ever had in my ears. Uh, I enjoyed watching movies on them, listening to music was good, and I played Call of Duty with these guys just to test it out. Now, I think the audio is excellent for music and for movies, for gaming. It's also excellent, but it's, it's loud. It's, it's different. You know, the earbuds are here on your eardrum. When you shoot your gun, it sounds like a real gun. When characters make a call out, you can like hear it, you know, in your soul. Uh, of course, it made footsteps easy to hear. Of course, it made the game audio easy to hear. And it was pretty comfortable too. But at the end of the day, I prefer the somewhat more adjustable volume of headsets. These guys, again, because they're on your eardrum, pretty loud is about as low as they will go. 
There's also an issue of if I'm gaming and somebody wants to talk to me, if I'm wearing my A30s, I can just slide them down. I can pull one ear over. With these, I have to take them out, take a moment, put them somewhere safe so they don't get cat hair in them or something like that, and then kind of wedge them back in. So they do lose some convenience for gaming, even though they're designed for gaming. So the TLDR here is that these are gaming earbuds. They're form-fitting, excellent audio quality. They'll work well for any game. You can do Bluetooth or USB dongle on console if you want to, but I'm more of a headset guy. For gaming and a lot of audio experiences, I just prefer headsets. So I think I still prefer my A30 over these, but these are God tier for travel. These are probably 95 to 98% the quality of the A30 in a size that is, I was gonna say pill size, <laughs> very big pill, maybe suppository, but. You can just put this in your pocket. You don't have to carry the big headsets. You don't have to have a rig. You don't have a USB dongle. Extremely convenient. So I think this is a good product, but it's not necessarily one that fits me right now. This is excellent for a gamer on the go. This is for you know traveling gamers. This is fantastic. For people who like earbuds, there are people out there that just uh, prefer earbuds over headsets, and if that's the case, I think you're gonna be very, very happy with these. So that is my overall review of the Logitech G Fits. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that you learned something useful about the product. If you did, there are shameless affiliate links down there below in the description and codes you can use that should give you 5% off. The last time I checked, as of whatever day we're recording this video, these were $180 on sale. So my 5% off will nick a little bit more off of that. And uh, there you go. I don't know how long the sale is gonna last though. So that is my opinion on the Logitech G Fits. I'm very glad to have them because now I think I have the absolute perfect travel audio.